Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint cherry blossoms. So let's do it! Okay, to start, I'm just going to go through all my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brushes. I have a size 12 and a size 4. I have my water and... Sorry, my paper towel. Okay, so we're gonna be doing cherry blossoms. Um, so I'm just gonna mix a really light pink. I already have some peachy pink on this palette, which actually works out. So I'm just mixing it up, doing a very light wash. And we're just gonna be doing like a branch of cherry blossoms coming across. So the closer to the are at the, sorry, the closer they are to the edge of the branch, the smaller the buds are. So I'm just gonna do a couple buds here. Uh, maybe I'll do a bigger one like it's about to open like that. And before they dry, you're going to want to take your pink color and just go to the tip of those buds. There's too much water on that one. Hmm. hope my son's not waking up. Okay. Like that. And then you'll do one that's, again, more open, but just kind of like a petal shape. And then you can start doing more open face ones. Now I'm doing them really loose, so just like petal shapes around like that. Maybe another one over here. Just make it very loose and fun. Go back in with your pink, and then with the ones that are open, just in the middle, like that. These ones are, I'm just drying these up a bit. They're a bit too pink. <laughs> I want to keep the, the lightness in the petals. I'm actually going to mop this one up a bit, just I want to keep it really light. <clears throat> okay, and then... Do more, maybe a side view of one. Another one that's open here, just very loose petal shapes. Another one that's open, so like five petals. Go back in with your pink. <clears throat> that. This one's a bit too dark too, so I'm just taking up that color just a bit. <clears throat> like that. And then I'm going to take more of a darker pinky red, which I have here. And again, I'm just going to go in the middle. It's just a different shade. You could always add red to your pink if you don't have this color. I think it's called Rose Matter Hue or something by Windsor and Newton. Like that. And then we are going to take our smaller brush and get a brown, maybe black color. So I'm just mixing a bit of brown and black for the branch, and I'm just going to start down here and just gently touch the flowers making a branch going through. You can let some of that brown bleed on the flower. The ones that are dry aren't gonna bleed really. And you can create extra branches like that. And then I'm just going to take my sap green color and just create some tiny leaves just to get some greenery in there. Just 
just using the shape of my brush. And there's one branch. I'm gonna do another little branch coming up this way. So again, take your light wash of your pink and just start by doing some little buds and you can do some bigger open-faced cherry blossoms by just doing like five petals around. Use the shape of your brush by just pressing down, making it rough. Do a side view one, do another over here, and then just go back in, touch it with the pink, like that. Actually, I might do another one over here to make this branch a bit longer. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my darker pinky red, just touch the middle, go back in with my brownish black color, and then I'm just gonna connect these buds that I just did like that and it's okay if it runs into it and if it's too much you can just mop it up with your paintbrush or your paper towel if that doesn't work and then go back in with your pink I'm gonna do a new branch over here Gently touching the bottom of the buds. Now, if it ends up taking over, like the brown is just bleeding too much into it and you're not a fan of that, it's because you have too much water with your paint, your brown paint on your brush. So you can just mop it up with your paintbrush or your paper towel. Again, just taking your green, making some little leaves. Like that. And then once these are dry, you can go back in with your dark reddish color again and do little dots in the middle of the open ones. still wet so that's not gonna work yet but yeah and there you go and you can do this across a card um, or just do it on paper and frame it and there you go there are your spring cherry blossoms thank you guys so much for watching my video I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more have a great day guys bye